what's going on guys it's your boy kj i'm still working on the audio for my camera i don't have a camera microphone at the moment i have a lapel microphone but this camera doesn't power microphones so i gotta work on getting another microphone for it um but as you can see i'm in full h D now you can see every crevice and every wrinkle on my face you can see everything so I apologize for any audio problems you may be experiencing okay I'm gonna try to cover them up in the post-production but I'm sorry in advance um, but enjoy the fact that you can see me clearer now you know you gotta wait for the microphone but enjoy this fact okay enjoy enjoy the current quality of it. anyway I remember the day that I got to talk from my dad. I know where we were. I know where I was standing. I know where he was standing. I remember what I was doing. I remember how hot it was. I remember everything about that evening, okay? It was, it was so important to have that talk with him. Um, the talk for me came at the age of 17. I was almost 18. I was a month away from being 18 years old. I had just graduated from high school uh, two, about two months prior to that conversation. And um, yeah, it, was, <laughs> it wasn't uncomfortable because it was my dad, you know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna show you guys what I hoped the conversation would be like when it finally happened. Here it is. KJ, KJ, yes, Papa, are you having sex? No, Papa. Telling lies. No, Papa. Let me see your phone. Ha ha ha. Okay. Now you saw, that's what I hoped it would be. That's what we all hope it would be like. You know, just smiling and we're just, we're just okay with it. Here's how it really went down between me and my dad. Well, you better have sex. I mean, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know, eh? you wear a condom. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Don't come around with no babies now. Okay, cool. So, yeah, that was pretty much it. We didn't, there was no... No anger, no, no happy. There was, well, he might have been happy on the inside. I'll tell you, when my son grows up to be almost 18, might as well say 18. I was only a few weeks away. When my son grows up to be 18 and he tells me, or I, I if, if I wait that long to have that conversation with him and he tells me he's had sex, I'm going to just be like, all right, cool. <laughs> la, la, la. All that, man. We good. Dap it up. Boom. As long as he tells me he protected himself. As long as he tells me he ain't got a kid and he ain't got a disease, we good. We on a, we we good. Cause I'm not gonna be a hypocrite. For me to tell my son, no, don't don't be messing around with these girls, I. I mean, yeah, that's the parently thing to do. I'm gonna tell him that, but if he does it, I'm not gonna jump down his throat and pull his intestines out. Like I'm I'm not. No, I'm not gonna be a hypocrite in any of these situations. And you shouldn't be one either if you know you were out there in them streets, all right? <laughs> don't be don't be a hoe and then get mad at your kid for being one. You know, you just need to t you need to tell them and show them the way of, of to, to do it right. That's all. Because that's all you really can do. We can't stop them. But we can help guide them to the right place. You feel me? Expect me to have a video up probably also tomorrow because my son is here this week he's here every other week um and the the, the weeks that he's here we're probably going to be posting a few more videos because i want to post some with him as well and we'll just have little conversations sometimes little skits and stuff like that so it's yeah yeah that's all i got guys thanks for watching the video as always hit the subscribe button tap the bell for notifications give me a thumb up if you like the little video, you know what I'm saying? I try to keep it short and sweet for you guys. Peace!